You're associated with the creation of an early cr computer virus. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, that's another interesting episode. So I'm at USC, it's 1983, and I'm teaching a course on computer security and privacy, you know, because crypto, right? And this kid, Fred Cohen, comes up to me after class one day and he says, um, Professor Adelman, I have this idea for this new kind of security threat on the computer. I'm going to write this program and then everybody's going to use this program, but it's secretly going to send me all their privileges and access to all their data. And I said, yeah, that's, that would work, Fred. And Fred said, I want to try it. And I said, you don't have to try it, Fred, because it's clearly going to work. And he said, no, I want to try it. I want to try it. And so he wears me down, and I go to the um, chairman of the department, because we don't have personal computers at that time. We all use one big computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go to the chairman of the department. I said, look, this kid in my class wants to try this experiment, blah, blah, blah. And the chairman says, sure, why not? So Fred proceeds to write this malicious software and he proceeds to make it available to everybody on the computer and everybody or enough people take it so that when they take this program up, it sends Fred access to all their data and all their privileges. And so Fred takes over the whole computer. Mm -hmm. He can see everything, do everything, change all the grades if he wants, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And he runs this several times, right? And he comes back to class, and I invite him to present his results to the class, and he describes what happened. And it takes over the computer. You know, the only interesting thing is it took 30 minutes this time, and this time it took five minutes, some different variation. And he, he gets all control of the computer. And, uh, and so uh, Fred... Uh, wants to do more experiments, right? Because now he's thinking hard about what you could do with these things, right? He wants to do more experiments, and he's thinking about it, what he could do, and he wants to use more computer time, right? But by that time, word gets out about what Fred has done, and other people are starting to think about what you could do with programs like this. And the chairman decides he'd been a little hasty in letting Fred uh, do this, right? And so no more experiments. But Fred wanted to do his PhD thesis on this kind of thing. And I wasn't his official advisor. Uh, Irving Reed of Reed Solomon Coates mm -hmm. fame uh, was his advisor. But in some ways, I was a de facto advisor. And so he starts writing a paper on a thesis on computer viruses, practical aspects, some theoretical aspects. And uh, then one day, I'm at a crypto conference, the Santa Barbara Crypto Conference, mm -hmm. and I run into a reporter I knew, Lee Dembart of the LA Times. And as a routine matter, he says, Len, you know, what's new? Anything interesting happening? I said, no, nah, nothing's really going on. Uh, I got this student who's start work on this thing we call a computer virus, okay? And I, you know, I was naive. I, sh I should have known that, you know, you tell a reporter that you're working on something called a computer virus. <laughs> well, yeah. So Lee writes the first, you know, public article. And uh, as I recall, it even had the now familiar computer with the thermometer, you know, image on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, says, uh, you know, computer viruses. And uh, he describes it and uses the term computer viruses. And that's the first time it appears in, in, popul in, in the news press. And, uh, you know, I've subsequently learned that both the term computer virus has been used, was used in science fiction before me by a guy named Greg Bender. And that other programs, you know, in addition to Fred, that were happening around the same time also had, could mm -hmm. be claimed to be the first computer mm -hmm. viruses. But, you know, for me at least, uh, you know, Fred's the father of the computer virus.